Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40,000's Chaos Gate Demon Hunters with me, Kor. And we'll start with the timeline as usual. Well, actually, maybe we won't start with the timeline, just as a quick refresher. In the last mission, we were actually able to finish off a Bloom Spreader mission, which allowed us to get a Kalexis Assassin. So, I was, I was really excited to try this girl out. So, once we get our next mission here, we will be bringing in the Kalexis Assassin, and I think we're going to do a full Assassin mission. While the Vindicare is a little bit low, and we don't necessarily have too much in the way of equipment for them, we do have all four Assassin types, and it's uh, it's going to be really cool. So, uh, I was a little bit excited about that. Anyway, we'll go back to our reg regularly scheduled program, and we'll start with the timeline here. So, we have a couple injuries. Harn and Garmo coming back in six and nine days, respectively. Scythian Bosque is 17 days, and Estrius is 28 days. So, on the whole, out of our whole barracks, not too many injuries. We have a couple full strike teams that we can use. In addition to that, we have the uh, Reflective Insight here coming up in six days, which is very, very good, as well as a, well, I guess this is not good, but a, a minus 50% research speed. So, we do have... Quite a few servitors after our last foray and i think what we're going to do is we are going to be upgrading our warp drive here so we can get an additional 20 percent ship speed we've seen that these bloom spawn missions are spawning further and further apart so i'd really like to get those into a good spot here so uh and also construction is suspended for eight days that is uh, due to a an event that we had if you haven't watched the last episode uh, no big deal there so in the meantime, let's go ahead and get out of this warp storm, and we may end up fighting this ship right here. A disturbance. Alright, well, minus one hull integrity, not great. That's okay, we will survive, and we just need to get out of there. There we go. And I'm thinking we can probably make our way up here. Perfect. Reflective insight is available now what do we look at next we could do the codex toxicus which gives an additional two requisition improves the story and would also give us uh well i mean that's that's pretty much what we want right now we're a little low on requisition i'm hoping that these next missions are quite valuable to us if we look at the armory here 17 days remaining the only things that we can improve right now are night and war gear as well as the officio assassin norm but i'm really only looking to get the war gear and knight upgraded because everything else is at max level and we'll get the assassin norm up when we can other than that though we do have some big bloom spawn missions that could potentially pop right actually it's here or here uh, and i'm a little concerned about that so we do have four new eruptions of bloom but let's see Ektar, your alert has disrupted my essential meditations. We have important tidings. I can already sense Nurgle's corruption. There is something foul at work. There. Curious. We have only just had word from Grandmaster Kai. The prognosticars on Titan have augured the advent of a dire omen in that very system. They spoke of a black edifice, a vortex of foul malevolence. Preliminary estimation, not to its crown. The Eldari Avatar warned me of this. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard. Then the Morbus will come. The Xenos are not to be trusted. The enemy of my enemy, Ektar. I detected no malefic intentions. We should not forget that the Plague God despoiled their home. Commander, let us be clear. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. All right, so I think that's our uh, that's our fifth the bloom, bloom spawn has mission. Yeah. Critical stage of corruption. If we do not stop it now, if we fail five flowering missions, the Morbus will come, and this sector will be doomed. Crap. Okay, so now we have a fifth one down here, too. Crap. That's not great. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the the only important thing that we're looking at is this one right here. So, let's take a look at this one just to see. Four Requisition, one Grimoire, uh, Tier 3 Silencer, nothing really else interesting. Other than that, these guys were 
not even going to take a look at. Uh, but here, though, Ritual of Destruction. Inquisitor Vakir must survive and win the mission with only three units. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that, to be honest with you. So, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> so, we're just going to, we're just going to ignore this glorious steed. We are going to bring in the requisition. Uh, just the standard two requisition plus the servitors. And then we can potentially get this tier three power armor. Either way, let's go ahead and travel there. Now, we may end up having a fight here first, but let's see what's going on. What is this abomination? Our salvation. The edict shudders with anxiety. This work profanes the machine god. Mars will forgive us. The fate of the entire galaxy hinges on the psychic insight of the Codex. With it, we can track the Prime Seeds and hunt each Reaper down. How do we proceed? I will require a number of seeds from a single strain of the Bloom. With those in hand, I can attune the Codex to the strain's psychic stench, tracking its most potent source amongst the stars. Query, do the prime scenes within these Reapers emanate above all others? Precisely. The Codex will hone in on this power within the Reaper. From there, we will hunt them down one by one. Why do I get the feeling you are enjoying this? If I am right, and I always am, each strain will wither without its reaper to tend it, and we score another victory for humanity. This is no game to take pleasure in, Fakir. That's Inquisitor to you. We share in this sacred duty, Purifier. Would you deny me the brief satisfaction of a job well done? Noted, Inquisitor. But this job is not finished yet. Very interesting. All right, two plus requisition here. Let's take a look at the research. And then what do we have coming through here? All right. Ah, attune the codex to the Toxicus Poxus. Necrosis, Mortis, Dolores, and Tentaris. So I'm assuming these are the, what we need to do in order to locate and destroy the Reapers. And if we do that, maybe we finish the campaign. As to guess, but hey, that's quite nice. All right, other than that, let's take a look at uh, what we're getting here. Potentially, ooh, willpower one might be nice. What is that? So we do have quite a few of these mortis seeds. Maybe we'll do that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and continue our work as we are going to have to fight this ship here. I'm thinking we might end up doing the... We'll see. We'll see. Alert. Small scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Box transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and. Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ships maneuvering to attack. Hmm. Deploy a librarian to quell the noise. Ooh. I wouldn't mind that. He's going to be injured then, but... Actually, you know what? We might need him in this next mission, to be truthful with you. So, I think we're going to send a strike squad. It's going to be a relatively... Ooh, maybe we could do the assassin strike squad. The no. Oath shields are no, affixed. we won't do that. They are ready. We'll bring in uh, Garen. We'll bring in the... No, I, I think with this, we really need to pay attention to what's going on in terms of the storyline, because this is going to be kind of critical here. So as much as I'd love to bring in all assassins, we'll Alexis. bring in the Kalexis. We'll bring in our Garen Crow here. We may want to bring in someone. Uh, let's bring in Storm. And then we can bring in Kajalon. I think Kajalon will be good, as that will allow him to... Uh, use that AP pro, uh, provisions and then support Storm in that way. So, let's go ahead and crew up our guys here. 
we are not working with any valorous deeds so we can kit them out as best as possible in this case we'll give him immunity to plague we can give Cajulon the best terminator armor we have with max willpower and then as far as melee weapons go probably the star slayer or warding stave uh i don't think that really matters too much let's give him the warding stave and then we'll also give him a psychotrope grenade because that's a lot of damage Actually, maybe, maybe we don't give him the Psychotroke. Maybe we just give him a standard frag grenade because we had a couple good options to knock people out the last time. And then we also may want to look at bringing in the Seeker Skull or the uh, Extractor Service Skull, not the Medicaid. We'll see. We will see. Either way, equipment. Uh, Voltred actually has quite a bit, so we'll leave you with the... We'll leave you with that, and then potentially the servo skull will do the extractor servo skull. Then we can give you the... Nope. Screwed that up. Sorry about that. We'll get there eventually. Extractor. And then for your equipment slot, we'll give you the Libra Demonica. Perfect. Kalexis is going to be as is for right now. So only 10 health points. You do need to kind of learn how to use her character, but we will see how well she does here and the garen crow is as is with both a psych out grenade and a crack grenade both tier three so this is going to be kind of our ace in the hole here he's going to be very very nice and as far as stratagems go i don't think we don't get to use stratagems here do we maybe we do i don't recall either way i think we're ready to go and uh we're not ready to go we got to get some ranged weapons on here demonic targets that's fine You have a special storm bolter, so we'll give you Gallant's Grace. And there we go. That should that should cover everyone, right? Yeah, because you're a special. You don't have anything, and you guys are good to go. Alrighty. Sounds good. I'm gonna see you guys in there. Good luck to me. The Enix machine spirits recoil at the proximity of this death god vessel. As do we all, Dominus. Brothers. Destroy the cruiser's generators. Alrighty, we know the rules of engagement now. Let's make it happen. So, first and foremost, we want to take a look at where they are. One's here, one's here, one up to the top right, and one to the top left. I think, if at all possible, I would prefer to split. And if that's the case, we're going to take the interceptor here and just a card to the top right. And then perhaps Garen Crow and the Kalexis Assassin to the top left. And I think that's probably because Garen Crow is, uh, he's busted, my friend. Um, he's busted. So we're going to take that. <laughs> and I just realized that I broke open that door too. Okay, well, either way. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we got lucky. We got lucky. Now, let's see. We only have a few abilities with her. So we can't close a warp rift, which is fine. But we can continue to do ranged attacks. Uh, perhaps not the Stop. best option for her right now. But nonetheless. Standing ready. Kajalon, come here. Way. Let's get no your set of reinforcements, which are walks. just on the other side here. Uh, you know what we potentially could do? I mean, perhaps, actually, is we could get a free turn of shots off on the generators, and then by that point, dealing with those additional sets of reinforcements aren't nearly as terrifying. You guys are moving over here, but potentially could still, depending on where we put our people. We'll see. I am his we'll see. Shield. All right, so they are still not visible to us. You have a set of reinforcements. Okay. Oh, Kalexis. Interesting. So let's see if Crow... Actually, I don't think it matters because anything, anything moving forward like this, but we're not in a position to really fight those. So, let's get... My blade is ever ready. 
You're gonna be in the middle here, so we can just go ahead and shoot that. And then these guys only have three ammunition each, so that's fine. Uh, as far as our Terminator goes... Are you gonna be able to shoot from there? Are you able to shoot from there? No, you're not. Oh, this is Kajalon. Oops. Uh, Kajalon is not a... Is not our... Uh... Ah! Not our Justicar. Okay, well, uh, I guess we have a, a Terminator Librarian. So, not that that's a bad thing. I just was not prepped for it. Ah, we have the support. Excellent. I forgot back. about that. All right, I am happy with that. All right, now on these, uh, on these guys, kind of tempted to just move in, because you do four damage in range ten. Perhaps we just move over here. Unleash me. Let's yes, just move, Garen. We will not fail Plague against champion, this menace. and no, looks like just a plague marine. Okay. Target acquired. Perfect. What do you want? But you get willpower when. Whenever an ally spends willpower. Okay, Your that's command. fine. We can do that one. I'll tell you what. How about let's pop some cleansing flame. And that does purge. Purge 100%, no stun, ignore cover. Okay, so no big deal there. Yeah. My cleansing fire. And then we could also oh, pop a crack grenade over there. That might not be a bad idea. Because that does massive armor break. And there we go. So now you have the ability to uh, inflict nullify on your opponents, which Agreed. would be quite nice. Also, close rift, but that's not really relevant. So, Sunder, there be fouled souls. She is a savage. All right, so you guys are now. Hopefully nullified. Silver knights, securing position. All right, and a plague bearer, shaman, whatever it is. So that's good enough. Your next coward. That one. Kill uh, him. Uh, what was that? Not uh, okay. scratched. Either way, happy with that. I think. The Calexus has lightning reflexes, so we're probably just fine. Either way, let's go ahead and take this one down here. Your orders. We could potentially get a teleport over here. I think that's going to be okay. Now, you do have our top tier falchions, right? Yes, you do. You have Ogun's Edict. Excellent. So we can force strike with you. Get some massive damage off. Get that seed here. We come with the bloom. I pull the seed from this rock. And then 50% crit. We'll take that. We can uh, block. What stream of corruption? Actually, probably weakened is just fine. I'm not necessarily sure that we'll be able to take out this guy. Uh, oh, you get the additional AP from hitting him. Nice. Get down! All right, and then we could potentially get the teleport over here. We travel unseen paths. Excellent. Nice job. Could we hit you? We could. That might also knock our our guy off. Not really great. So I think we'll just kill this guy. That's the real concern anyway, because this guy just has the 
Bolter and Plague Knight. So perhaps what we'll do here is... Oh, you actually can't do that. Okay, well. Oh, well, I suppose. Because I don't think that'll do anything, so... Actually, you know what? Maybe Empyrean Domination would be a good thing right now. Let's try and minimize our risk here. Next up. Bane of Psychers, you are indeed. Uh, huh. Probably wouldn't mind knocking you off. Do that. Thank you, and goodbye. And then you do strike to deal three damage, afflict silence, and if the target is killed, gain an additional willpower. However, we do already have maximum willpower, which should, I believe, be giving you armor, right? Perhaps. Uh, or perhaps not. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, for right now, let's see. Can you do damage to the... Yes, you can. Unleash me. Either way, you're going to get uh, two burning per turn. Let's go ahead and just start shooting this thing. I think it's actually outside of range, so it's probably worth getting into range here. Yes, sir. Firing on target. And then what's the other thing that we want to do? Do we want to take a look at uh, getting a crack grenade off? No, we can't do that. No problem. Let's just keep shooting. We're already doing better than we did in the previous episode of this, which is exciting, so. Perhaps we just shoot, do a warp charge. Ah, the warp charge, that's where it comes from. I forget that because the warp charge comes from the amount of willpower you have saved up. So, excellent. So if we do this, I will kill you. and then warp charge it, I we kill him. Death. Nice job, Alexis. Alright, so he's probably going to shoot someone, but I don't know who. Reinforcements. I'll tell you what, this is going much, much better than the previous engagement. I know I literally just said that, but it's, uh, it, it's fun. Readying for the kill. Right, let's go ahead and shoot you. So it only takes one willpower per shot, high. which is good. We're also quite aggressive in our use of willpower, which is nice as well. We do a Cybolt. Cybolt uh, gives plus two stun. So that's a negative. And reloading. So that'll get done here in the next turn or so. Now, I don't even know what you did, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I'm just going to ignore that. Vengeance. That was an aggressive vengeance, my friend. Let's go ahead and try and get this guy down. And three for three. And I think... Oh, no, we can't. That's right. We can't shoot from there. Can we shoot from here? We can't. Perfect. And we'll hit you with a reload because we can... I'm thinking that we probably bust through on the right side here. I'm here to no. serve. Are out of ammunition, but that's really not Where a big concern. So we can get you over here. Let's see what's coming out through the woodwork. Uh, two plague bearers and a Nurgle Marine. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not great, but, uh, you know what? We might be able to just knock this guy off. I'm thinking we knock that guy off. Nope, that didn't work at all. Ah, oh, man. I wish you could see where they land. So what we could do is we could teleport strike. 
Perhaps we just... Maybe we could warp charge it. We could warp charge it. In fact... Let's go over here. We'll allow... Taste my fury! Oh, you're already out of... Okay, well... Maybe that was a bad idea. Either way. Nonetheless. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Alright, we'll take a little bit of damage, but that's not a terrible problem. Destroy. Close this out. And then we want to take a look at getting over here. Might not be a bad idea to just come through this side, since we're gonna be moving that way from the right. And then let's bring our Kalexis over. You can move an additional set. Perfect. Pathetic. Affliction resisted. Ah, there's there comes the uh, the hit. Oh, immune and immune. We like that. Oh, okay. Well, good thing we have teleport, guys. More fools coming to die. Might have to do a little bit of a rush down there on the top left side. The Emperor lights off. Let's do a full strike to kill you. For the golden you and then we can teleport you over here. Gliding That'll get a quick kill. Excellent. Well done. And then we can save a range weapon. And these guys are tanks. And we'll kill them off with that one. Excellent. So you are not there, but it doesn't really matter because we can just teleport you over here. That'll maximize the amount of ranged damage you can produce. Perfect. In fact, to get that additional willpower back. And let's get it down to 10. That will leave only one generator behind. Now, with you guys, how do we want to play this? I feel like we kind of want to wait. Taking position, Commander. Your orders? We may actually, yeah, we may want to wait here and then take a look at what... Oh, wait. Right, 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 right. I forget, we can't use stratagems in this mission. Let's see, oh, are these guys just kind of rotating around? They may very well be. If that's the case... Hmm... What is your will? Might not be ideal. Unleash me! They won. You guys can reload. Fire again. And I don't know what that was, but yes, they're down to a single All generator right, perfect. now. A single generator, they say. And it looks like we have two sets of reinforcements converging there, where there's a lot of grenade opportunity. Tell you what, that's quite nice. So let's Standing let these ready. guys let's let these guys move forward. On my way. They're going to be pretty far away. And then we'll pop them in next turn. We'll do the Gate of Infinity teleport. Yeah, that's what we thought. Found approaches. Oh, there's even more. All right, well, no big deal there. Let's see what we have. What is your will? All right, mostly pox or plague bearers and a couple of marines. Well, that's interesting then, isn't it? What next? So let's see, you guys don't actually have the ability to do anything. You could do some significant damage here. But I'll tell you what. My blade is ever ready. You don't have a grenade. The Emperor lights our path. Oh, nobody Alexis. actually has a grenade. Hmm. Darn. Unleash me. 
Well, we have some really good grenades, but... How do we want to play this? Commander. If we can get our interceptor over there, that might be nice. Let's do this. And then if we're lucky... Maybe what we do is we pop this. They shall not pass. What is your will? Oh man, I think I did I think I did wrong here, guys. We could do a really good rend the unclean. But even so Agreed. We're gonna have to fight these guys somehow. So I think we warp charge. And then, let's see, does this that take one. you down to killable range? Yes, it does. I am so, the bane of psychos. If we can kill you, or if we can get you down, oh, we may not be able to get you down to the right area. Unless, of course, we do some additional willpower maneuvering. I found the other guys. Which is a few more Death Guard Plague Marines. The beasts. Yes. Let's see, so you could do enough damage. Unleash How much me. do you do? You do six damage in total. My blade is yours. Eh, perhaps it's not even worth it. We'll warp charge it. Horrors invade our realm. The, the other one. I forgot about that one. That gives us an additional willpower, as well as something else. Your command. It doesn't actually appear like we have much flexibility there. If we do the force strike, that'll give us 40% crit chance. So oh. might as well try it. Ah, parry. Unfortunate. We can kill you. I am vengeance. You will rise again. And we could very easily get you to pop the Aegis shield. Storm might get a little, uh, little roughed up from this maneuver. Save the ranged weapon. And from there, I think that's an instant kill, right? There we go. We slay the darkness. Yep. There we go. All right, now problematically, we do have a plague champion here. Taking cover. I do wish I had brought Cajal on. That would have been some additional AP that we could definitely, definitely use. On the flip side, I think that the way we go about this is just destroy the generator without absolutely wrecking everything. So. Strong we shall stand. Hmm. Alright. Yep, I think we're just gonna play the, the quick finish command here. Plus the warp surge. Let's see what that is. All enemies gain armor pierce. Oh dear. That's not great. Well then, uh, in that case, let's let's make this quick and easy, shall we? We travel on scene paths. Perfect. <laughs> they right. are nothing. So, from here, you can do two shots. That's about it. No big deal there. And we might even be able to get some really good maneuvering from our Alexis assassin here. So if you move, you are wearing immune armor. My armor remains Let's go ahead fortress. and get this. The Mortis Seed. By the way, we need to do the Mortis upgrades here. But, we'll, we'll get to that. 
Another foul seed claimed. We are needing to oh, my rounds. Hit that. Need to hit that better. That I do need. Alright, four strike on that. Make sure our Alexis has whatever she needs in order to I get that. Done. How do we get to one? Can you still shoot that? Yes, on you my can. Way. And then if we do a warp charge, that ends it. Alright, so let's see what we can do with Crow. Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily worth it, given that he doesn't necessarily get any additional experience, but might as well kill him anyway. Alright. All in the name of destroying the enemies of the Emperor. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Alright, let's hit the warp charge and end the mission here. A nice quick one. I think we figured out the correct way to approach it, and we're good from there. And a nice victory. Hopefully we get a couple of requisition out of that. Nothing too terrible. Uh, nothing too great, I would assume. But that'll set us up for the Grandmaster's Report here coming in the future. And three requisition. Excellent. As well as nine Mortis Seeds. Well done to our Calexus Assassin. Very, very well done. Did we get anyone injured? No, no injuries and two promotions. So that is excellent. Very excited about that. Uh, meant to bring in the Justicar, but uh, my brain was having an issue. So instead of that, we brought in Kajalan, who, you know what? Congratulations to Kajalan is a rank six librarian. So he's doing incredibly, incredibly well. Very excited about that. Alrighty, guys, that'll be it for today. And I think we are going to be probably looking at doing another episode tomorrow but we'll see we will see if that uh, wins out over last train home either way thank you so much for joining i really do appreciate it hope you enjoyed the content as well and uh yeah we'll see you next time have a good night